So it all starts with a round piece of glass that we use at the center. And from the center out, we use glass frit, which is ground up glass about the size of sand particles. And from the particles, when we fuse it in the kiln, those pieces will melt together, kind of edge to edge. The problem is when we make a large disc this big out of just frit, if we try to reheat it, it doesn't want to reheat, it wants to crack. So typically what we have to do is, is melt this together and then pick it up. So I don't want just one color. I want a couple of different colors in it. So I'll combine the different colored frit. in the jar first. And you can see it's kind of sand shape and colors. And then we're just trying to get it very thin on the shelf. So I'm, I'm laying this all out on the shelf of the kiln. And my goal for this piece is to kind of go from a dark to a lighter. So I'm actually gonna add some more glass to this mix, but I'm going to heavy it up on the darker colors. So the orange, the dark red, and then even some black. And then I'm going to mainly go around the base of this. And I'm basically bringing the thickness of the frit up to the thickness of the glass so I can cover the edge of that glass. And you can kind of see subtly how it's gone from the dark out to the light. I want to keep going with that. And I want to take it out now to the lighter. So I'm going back to my orange. And yellow. And now I'm going to switch actually to a little bit of clear. Feels kind of like a cooking class. But. Once I've come back to where I started, I can start working towards the inside of the piece to bring that light color down in. But if I don't build it up thick enough, I won't have much to pick up. So, so 
So from here what we do is, once this is in the kiln, we use a, a metal piece that was made by a welder friend of mine that's actually going to go on here. It's actually wired to the lid of the kiln to hang just above this. My initial design was the idea of a metal plate that would have a hole in it, and, but need to come apart. So I knew it needed to come apart. I didn't know how that would be accomplished. Uh, so I took it to a welder friend. He made the plate, he made the two pieces, and then he actually made these two uh, tabs that hold the two sides together. Because once the glass melts through the top, it joins on here, this has to come apart. So he came up with the creative idea of the tabs and the screws in them. And then the idea of the hook, this glass, whenever it's heated up over a thousand degrees, kind of loses its mind a little bit. <laughs> so whenever we come back to a thousand degrees, we have to anneal the glass or cool the glass very slowly so it doesn't crack or break later. Um, so when this is flat, this is hanging just about a half an inch over the glass. Once it's melted through and grabbed on, this literally lifts the piece up. And then the hook hooks onto a bar that's across the top of the kiln, so the newly created vase or vessel can hang there and cool down slowly in the kiln. We'll program the kiln to cool down over time. The foot we do ahead of time, it's, a layer, it's two layers of glass on the bottom, about three layers in the middle. That goes upside down in the center. So as we heat that up, that centerpiece actually becomes a little anchor and pulls it down and will fuse itself on to the center of this. We're using this kind of as a mold to kind of just bend through, touch down onto there, and then we literally lift it up off the shelf with that while it's hot.